Welcome to Hourglass PvP, the sweatiest game mode in Sea of Thieves, where basically you just go over here, you choose your faction, then you flip this hourglass, and then by using this, you can dive to attack someone random and just spawn next to them and fight them. And then if you win, you'll go up on your streak. But then say you have a streak that you think is good enough, to end the fighting, you go to the hourglass of the specific faction at an outpost and cash in the streaks. In the meantime, every time your hourglass is active, people can attack you. This is gonna be my first time playing this game mode. Please enjoy the chaos. For my first ever round, I wanted to put my new status of pirate legend to good use, but the game had other plans for me. I want that emissary bonus. Plus, I'm a pirate legend, so I can do... I can... Let me say with the Phoenix. Uh, yeah, cool. But how do I buy the friggin' emissary license? You know what? They don't want to give me an emissary license. I'm sure the Reapers will. After emissarying for the Reapers, for my first time ever, I flipped the hourglass, opened the war map, and dove into battle. All right, we're down under. Oh, are we going? And so began my first ever hourglass encounter. Okay. Looks like here we go. All right. I quickly rolled the sails to give me a better Fighting. turning radius and then started a quick right turn to point my cannons right at the enemy. See, just not get quick dropped in, ten, in five seconds and then we're good. There we go, there's some hits. Shooting over him. There we go. Unfortunately for me, him. my opponent Whoa. was better at maneuvering his ship, so he quickly ended up behind me, pointing his cannons at me while I couldn't turn to face him. This was bad. Luckily, I was able to regain angle and start getting some hits in on my opponent. There we go, got some hits. Getting all of those on my back, which is good. I just gotta get more hits on this front. Ow, never mind. Unfortunately for me, my opponent got a lucky hit on the cannon line. We're trying to shoot his cannon line. Which allowed him to put a lot of pressure on me. He's trying to blunder bomb me. That's a board. Okay, that's the big hole. Yeah, I'll leave it to your imagination what happened immediately after this. This ship. Not my anchor, so. Oh, never mind. He didn't drop my anchor, he just got my mask. Oh. Yeah, by this point, I thought it was over, but what happens next is a story on why you should never give up. Bail, 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 bail. Bottom. I keep trying to bucket onto his ship. Bottom. Got 
Can I block it onto his ship over and over? There's no way. There ain't no way, dude. <laughs> we win these. That's so embarrassing for him. Wow. There we go. No cannonball. Holy crap, I made it to Reaper 4 from this? Wow. And to an outpost, catch in our hourglass. After that insanely clutch victory, I decided to head back to an outpost and catch in my one streak because I didn't have confidence in winning two in a row and didn't want to risk losing everything I had gained. Alright, just here. Oh, for the fortune. Well, I'm just doing hourglass, so... But remember how I said ships can spawn on you at any time while the hourglass is flipped? I'm getting invaded! Oh, you're kidding me. Terrible timing. Yeah, the game wasn't letting me off that easy. If I wanted to claim my right. prize, I would have to defeat another opponent. You're up, bro. Terrible timing. Look, those are Dark Adventurer sales. Oh, I think we lost. I, I think it's over, guys. To make matters worse, our opponent was wearing a comedic that at the time was known for giving a competitive advantage, which probably meant he was a sweaty player. Our odds were looking very slim right now. No way! Oh, that was my chance. Just for a bit of a speed boost, so I can snipe him off cannons. What? After wasting a golden opportunity to capitalize on a mistake my opponent made, and being constantly wow. pummeled by cannon fire from the opponent, it was looking like this was the end for me. Nope. That's not what I needed. Depending for his cannon line. How did that not hit? Here we go. Getting some hits. Damage, but I think they repaired it by now. It's gonna go full repair. Whoa. What is this turn? Wait, I have a good angle here. Gotta straighten this out, and now get some shots in. Perfect for some chains. Come on. Wow, I'm terrible. Luckily for me, my opponent ended up putting his ship in a very awkward spin, which allowed me to pelt his ship with cannonballs, giving me the advantage in the fight. Well done! And after hearing the sound of my cannonball killing my opponent on the ship, therefore making it so he can't repair or shoot cannons at me or do anything, I knew that the fight was all but won. Oh! There's no way right now. Well, thank you, uh, opponent, for having your, that rowboat. It's making my life a lot easier right now. I know exactly where all his stuff is. And surely he had a storage crate. Let's see. He's a dark adventurer guy, so surely he was competent enough to have a storage crate. He didn't have a storage crate, did he? Oh my god, he didn't even have his stuff sorted. Wow. Maybe he was just a noob on using dark adventurer cells for whatever After reason. all the dust settled, it turns out maybe me getting invaded was just a happy here. accident. Because now I was able to turn in a more valuable streak of two wins. That hourglass. Oh my god. Holy. And after firing a celebratory reaper firework, I was ready Let's go. to dive back into the action and continue fighting. Here we go. And so began my third fight in hourglass PvP. The guy full default sales. It's probably just a massive sweat. He just... what is bro doing? I suck at this game, dude. That was my win right there. I'm trying to harpoon me.
What is he doing? This person was playing very weirdly. And only wasn't that already because I was too bad at the game to capitalize on his mistakes. Here we go, there's some hits. Take that. Oh, what the? Got him. Oh, he just died, and I had a decent amount of damage on his ship, so... I think it's my turn to go over, to be With honest. my opponent having been off his ship while it was be taking in water, I felt like that was the time to go and attack him Shot. and make sure he couldn't Sorry, repair so that close. damage once he respawned. But of course I managed to screw that up. And with my anchor still being down from when he boarded me, I had given my opponent a clear winning come on, chance. Come on, come on, come on, get it up. Oh, just in time. So we can't help him on the turn right. Okay, there we go. No, I think that's a loss. You were back. <laughs> Bro, what the heck, man? No way, how worked out? But like, how? But like, how did he get that second shot off so quickly? Yeah, this last was last very, round. very humbling. Especially since this guy had no idea how to maneuver a ship, and I should have won that fight many times. But of course, he he was better at at TDM fighting. So uh, what what are you gonna do? He he just boards you, and uh, I'm still mad about that. Anyways, you can't just get hung up on that. Time to go right back into the action. And for the next fight, I decided to absolutely oh, throw oh, this. 10 seconds into the fight. But you know, I'm just trash, wow. That's, we don't we don't gotta talk about this, guys. He's gonna get dumpstered on here. Luckily for me, my opponent wasn't able to capitalize in my idiocy, so I ended up able to equalize the fight. It's got some damage on them. My opponent Wait, decided to point his bad. nose right Look at, at my ship. This is called nosing, and it basically froze the game, because it lets me no. point the cannon at his ship it's while he's not pointing his cannon on, at me. Ways, and man. then even when he does turn to face his cannon at me. I'm already putting too much damage on his ship. What are those ways? He's forced off the cannon. So he does that, and I end up killing him with a cannonball, which is just perfect for me. Oh my god, I killed him. Yeah, all that damage on his ship, he's not gonna last very long. So I go over and make sure he can't fuck it out after he respawns. Let's help him from repairing now. But uh, respawning, that's something he never gets to do, as his ship sinks way too quickly. And that is another victory for oh! me. Oh! 
Oh fuck, my ship is taking on water. Wait, wait, I gotta get there. Please get there. Oh. Thank goodness. Wait, my ship's fine. That massive ram only did this much damage? Wow. I'll take it. Alright. Cash in that hourglass. Oh my god, it's the Kraken. Yo. It's the Kraken. Yo, get back here, bozo. Now so next, be ready, because I guarantee you this is going to be the That's weirdest the hourglass fight you have oh ever god, seen. Oh my god, I think I know what he's doing. He's at the sea fort, isn't he? You see, that same day, I had seen a video on YouTube of a meme strat where the player waits at a sea fort to get invaded. They wait for an hourglass player to spawn on them and attack them. Except the C4 spawns of kegs, so they just sit at the C4 and when the enemy ship gets close, they just take a keg over to it and blow it up. And they're gonna have cannons at the C4 facing every direction, so pushing that C4 is just death for whoever is attacking. So I was a bit paranoid of this guy, but I think I come up with a strategy to out me. We're gonna, him. We're gonna cannon over to the C4. Take a keg right from under his nose and keg his ship. So I did just that. I hopped on a cannon, went for a long swim, and got to the sea fort undetected. Except. There's a kegs. There's no kegs. Well, that puts a bit of a damper in the works, let's just say. So I had to go for plan B. And I, so I tried to get one of the cannons to line up and be able to hit the ship. But uh, yeah, they're, let's just say they didn't have a lot of gun depression. So that was not very useful to me either. And meanwhile, I saw the guy just frolicking around carrying random pieces of wood to his ship. So I came to the realization, maybe I did just re invade some guy caught with his pants down at a sea floor. But I had no way to sink his ship. So it would have to be death by a thousand cuts. There we go. Okay. Coconut on the stove. That's what's gonna kill him. Somebody's keeping kegs in the crow's nest. He was not, in fact, keeping kegs on the crow's nest. Yeah, that was what? embarrassing and all, but at least now I'm back at my ship, and I'm ready to finally stop playing games and put an end to this clown. Change shot down to the mass. Yes, sir. I start the kill circle. Not the kill circle, not the miss circle. There we go. I realize that his ship's sinking. There we go. Yeah, after that easy win, I took not only the win streak reward and oh, his emissary flag if he this. had it, which I don't think ship. he did, but I also claimed all the loot from the Spanish fort and went and sold it. And went right back into the action, where yeah. Karma might be about to strike me for what With I did to this guy. That was a terrible place to start the battle. Doing that, I were cutting him off. I learned this trick from... Oh wait, he's, he saw me. He saw it coming. Wait, he knows. 
Wait, he knows. Wait, this guy knows. Uh-oh. Fight! Okay, we got cute of a sweat, Lord. Wow. Oh, it's over. Next is gonna be the deck shot that just lands... Send himself over, and he's gonna land right on my deck. Wait, keep this turn. What? Oh, yeah, no, he's here. He's here. No, 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 no. What did I tell you? How is he here? We're just having a little TDM. He's waiting for me to push him so he can one blunder me. I'm going. Please. I need to shoot my monkey. Well, I almost died because he tried to shoot my monkey. I am out of ammo. Uh oh. No way I died because I ran out of ammo. Oh, he's on his ship. Okay, get the anchor up, get that anchor up, get that anchor up. He's just gonna aim straight for the capstan. Oh, never mind, he couldn't. Oh, here's the kill circle, here's the chain shot. No, what? Oh my god, my bucket was full. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Maybe getting risked by a sweat lord is what I deserved after what I did to the newbie player before. But uh, that's the nature of Hourglass PB. That's gonna be the end of the video, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Because if I hit five likes, I'm gonna do this alone on a galleon.